I'm sort of last minute Lucy, so I used to like the morning of my presentation say, oh, I gotta throw a slideshow together. But what I've learned over the past six months or so is that the more effort I put into making a really spectacular slideshow, the more emotional impact it's going to make on my client, and the more the chances actually she's gonna want the slideshow, which is great for me because then it's an additional sale. So I've spent a little bit of time lately really coming up with a formula that works for me. Part of that is choosing the proper music, which is why I love that they work with Triple Scoop. I can pick the exact music that will fit that client. I usually tend to go for something a little more upbeat. I don't want it to be too mellow. This is, you know, her heart's pounding. This is exciting. So I try to go for something a little bit more upbeat. I like songs that use words like flawless and beautiful and I love you no matter what and, you know, really making her feel like she is flawless because of course she is. What I do is I grab about a minute's worth of photos. I always pick the first picture first, and I always use the last picture last, and everything in the middle I shuffle. If I did it in order, I sort of feel like clients would really lock in and start focusing on little things, and I don't want them doing that. I just want to kind of show them a little bit of everything. Here's a little bit of everything, here's a little taste, this is what you're gonna see, and I just want them to go, whoa, I just can't wait to see more. I put in keywords that the clients have given me, so if they say they wanna look sexy, if they wanna look edgy, I add those keywords into the slideshows. I always put their name in the slideshow, so I might say Melissa's boudoir experience, and I always end with a statement that I feel is appropriate to her or that I take from the music, so something like you are flawless or you are beautiful or whatever might suit her. I also always put an image of my logo at the end so that when she shows it to her friends, they all know that it's me that did it. <laughs> and she's proud to say that she worked with me, so I love that. The best part about Animoto is that it's so easy. Anybody that knows me knows technology and I do not get along. So the best thing about Animoto is how easy it is for me to just upload the pictures, add some text, add my logo. Even when I put a ton of effort into a slideshow, it takes me no more than 10 minutes to make. It's just easy to use. I show my slideshows on a laptop, a 15-inch laptop, and I know that goes against what everybody believes in projector sales and large TVs, but this is boudoir. No woman wants to see herself 30 by 40 on a wall. Plus, I'm really trying to sell albums, so I want to keep it on the smaller side, so I use a laptop. What I also like about that is it's intimate. She and I are sitting nice and close together. We're looking at the pictures. You know, we have a connection. Everything that I do with my clients from the beginning to end is an intimate process, so this makes it feel the same. What I love about many of the video styles that Adamoto already has is they have some very clean, crisp styles, which I think work really well with boudoir. But I wanted to kind of take it up a notch a little bit and create something a tiny bit more edgy, a little more magazine, high fashion. I think my clients and a lot of boudoir clients will relate to that. They want to be seen in a very feminine, but sort of a little edgy way. I mean, they did something very daring. We need to do something daring as well to show them their pictures. The ability to download the HD video slideshows is a benefit for me because I often throw them onto the flash drives when the client is not expecting it. So it's an added bonus for her. She feels like she got something for free and it was amazing. It's no additional work for me. She just loves it. It makes her rave about me, which is exactly what I want.